Hi, I'm Jennifer Drinkwater, and I live in Ames, and I'm happy to be here tonight. Uh, I paint and I stitch and I use these materials to examine the ways that we all form perceptions every day. I'm going to show you four or three recent projects that explore this. The first is a series of paintings from 2014 that I did based on a trip to the Grand Canyon. When I arrived at the Grand Canyon, I quickly noticed how everyone was looking at this space through a lens or a screen <laughs> of some sort. Uh, no one was really there. So naturally, I started taking pictures of people taking pictures and then went home to paint about it. You'll notice that the figures are faceless and they live in a, a voided space, which was sort of suggestive of my experience at the time. I hung these paintings in an alleyway in Ames and lit them with motion sensor lighting so as people walk through the space, they become part of the installation by triggering the lighting and themselves under surveillance. This led to a current body of work entitled Lenses, Seen and Be Seen. Um, which is 20 paintings based on 10 current or former residents of Jackson, Mississippi, which is where I grew up. These are large-scale wooden panels that instead of being uh, hung on a wall are going to be mounted on rolling casters, so they're sculptural, and both sides of the panel are exposed. One side of the panel will show um, a resident as they see themselves in the world, based on interviews and photographs, and the other is, is their view of how others see them in the world. So some of these, as you might imagine, are going to be very, very different, the images, and some are very similar, depending on the individual. I should mention that I have a, a love affair with cross-stitching. <laughs> I've been diligently working on this project for four years. It's a 2013 archive of two popular magazines, Time and People, uh, where the stitch re replaces the pixel. And I juxtapose two covers that were released on the same date so that viewers can make their own interpretation about the images that they see. Uh, the perception of time is another really important component to this work. Um, 168 hours, which is the title of the series, refers not only to the amount of time that the magazines stay on the newsstand before we throw them away, but also is a rough estimate of how long it takes me to stitch each cover. So these hours are simultaneously long and short. I'd like to close with the idea that I think about, um, or the a thought that I have when I make this work, that when we start to unpack the ways that we see and wait, the ways that we are seen in the world, we realize that our vision is never neutral and it's never complete. Thank you.